working on your miracle. He prepared the breakthrough that you have been praying for. When you faithfully wait on him, you express the absolute trust you have in him. It is an act that lets go of your control over your situation and gives him the control. Waiting upon him is an acknowledgement that he is your creator. He is more powerful than you, and you are in adoration of his immense might. If God always answered your prayers instantly, after you prayed, and in the way that you wanted him to, that would be controlling him, and there would be no reliance or submission to him. Yet he created us so that we might be dependent on him. When you wait upon God, you stop trying to make things go how you want them, and instead focus on him who works all things out for the good of you who love him. The waiting that God is making you go through is therefore not a hopeless despair, but an express dependence on him that is meant to bring you closer to him. Waiting on God is an act of faith, because you wait on Him with the trust that He will come through for you. He will turn your situation around and change it for the better. When you learn to wait upon the Lord, you build your faith in Him. You have the assurance that even if not today, or tomorrow, or after two years, no matter what time it will be, what you have been waiting for will happen. The waiting might be long, it may be painful, it might be bitter and full of bad memories, but it is worth it. Your concept of time is not God's concept of time. He says in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8, that a thousand years are like a day to him, and a day like a thousand years. That's the unlimited God that you are to wait upon. He holds time in his hand. Seasons and times are at his mercy. He controls them. They do not limit him, but he is the one that dictates how they are to be. And if he knows what tomorrow's weather will be like, if he knows what will happen after 10 years, won't he also know when it will be perfect to end your wait and grant you your request? Everything that you are waiting for, do not wait as one who has no hope. The process is as important as the outcome. While what you are waiting for is important, what God does in you during the wait is equally important. God wants you to wait so that He can transform you. He wants you to have the strength of an eagle. It's during the times of waiting that he builds your spiritual muscle that will make you rise above the difficulty of the problems that you face. While most of us do not like to wait, as a believer, you cannot skip the waiting process. It is a training ground that builds your relationship with God and deepens your faith. A transformation occurs inside you no other thing can bring. Waiting upon God is a process that you must embrace if you are to walk this journey to the end. Wait with hope. Wait by faith. Wait 